Hello Trader, Scale254 here and uh, I'm going to create to show you how to create a derive bot that has a maximum number of martingale trades whereby if the losses exceed the, the maximum number of uh, martingale trades then the bot will uh, automatically go back to the to the initial stake that did not have martingale yeah so this bot was requested uh, right over here by Mike, Mike Son, this, this name right over here. And uh, let me show you how you can create it. First thing first, I'll reset this bot. And then you do not need the cell conditions if you are dealing with the uh, digits because there will, no, there will always be no option for sell if you are trading on digits on derive unless you are doing other contract types and um, let's get started i'll prefer doing digits and even odd and then uh, we love to add some few variables which is martingale of course martingale stake initial stake like that and uh, we need loss count um, or uh, martingale trade count martingale trade count like that and then we need to set our stake martingale stake Martingale, we need initial stake, math. Assuming we are using our initial stake as ten dollars, we go to set martingale stake to initial stake right over there. We also need to set martingale, which is martingale size. For case, let's use something like something like two as the martingale size. And um, we need also the to initialize our martingale trade count to zero so that it starts counting to them from zero. Then we need to attach our martingale uh, stake to our stake here, right over there. Then we are supposed to do some changes here on the restarting condition so we need logic we need a conditional block and uh, we need analysis we need contract we need result is win else then if result is win we need to set our martingale stake to initial stake and uh, if result is a loss first thing first we need uh, to change we need it to be changing uh, the trade count, the martingale trade count. Change a martingale trade count by one, like that. We need another logic right over here. We need to compare like that and um, if variables if martingale trade count is greater than is greater than one then uh, set Martingale stake to initial stake like that is greater than we need maths is greater than one like that set martingale stake to initial stake we need also to set our martingale trade count to zero like that once we are winning our martingale trade count we need to set it to zero and then 
we attach this one right over here. If material trade count is greater than one, then the bot should automatically set material stake to initial stake. Hence, it will have reset the stake to the initial stake. And we need to run our bot and see if we have achieved the logic that was requested. The first contract we won. Uh, we have not initialized the martingale size, so we are supposed to initialize the martingale size to work. So, set st set martingale stack to right over here. We need math. We need variables. Martingale stack multiplied by martingale. Multiplied by Martingale right over there. So once we are losing, the stake will be multiplied. And let's get started. First contract we lost, supposed to multiply $10 by 2. The second contract we lost, supposed to reset the stake back to the initial stake, as you, as you have seen. Once you hit two consecutive losses, supposed to reset the stake back to uh, initial stake and as you can see there is no martingale after uh, you have failed to recover with the martingale it continues with the initial stake without using the martingale once you win again it will uh, imply the martingale like that and then on losing two consecutive trades as you had said right over here maximum number of uh, uh, to eg eg maximum of two trades and the third returns to set uh, stake irrespective of a win or a loss and that's what i've tried to achieve right over right over here once you win then it will reset the stake back to initial once you go to consecutive losses on the third irrespective of a loss it will continuously do with your initial stake yeah if you really wished, maybe you want to change from two trades to three trades, then where you'll be adjusting is here. If uh, you wanted to go to three trades, then you adjust it to two. Is greater than two. Is this is because we initialized our trade count to one, to zero. Sorry. If uh, we initialized the trade count to one here, then we should also change here to one, and then here change it to is greater than two. This may be, maybe may it sound more understandable like that. So if you want it to wait to be to be resetting the stake irrespective of a win or a loss after three consecutive losses, then you will just adjust here from two to three, then it will be automatically if you go three consecutive losses, the fourth run, even if you go um, profit or a loss, it will trade uh, using your initial stake. Uh, fourth fifth sixth continuous yeah that's it if uh, you want it on the fourth run to let's say for uh, on the third run to to set to reset the stake and then start the martingale again then what we love to do just uh, duplicate this trade count and attach it right over here right over there then once let me just run and see in a, after every two consecutive losses, it will be uh, resetting the stake and starting again the martingale system. Let, let's just wait and, and uh, get two consecutive losses. First loss. We recovered. First loss, we recovered again. We can adjust, we can set these to trade uh, matches so that we may get consecutive losses faster, a bit faster. So, matches 
matches like that and we run our bot so first contract we lost supposed to to double the stake we lost again supposed to reset the stake back to initial stake like that it double then it's supposed to double again like that it, it resets the stake again like that it's supposed to double again once you are now it will, it will continue doing a series of uh, uh, increasing and resetting increasing again resetting if you do not want that then just definitely uh, delete this block right over here then once you hit your maximum allowed uh, losses then the bot will automatically be trading using your initial stake until you win again then as i've said if you want it to be to increase the number of allowed losses for it to stop martingale then automatically just change this value from two to three then it will definitely increase uh, the number of allowed losses as you can see we are 20 supposed to go to 40 like that now i think you have gotten my point and then it's supposed to reset the stake at the third loss like that continue again and again like that once you increase this uh, value you are increasing the number of allowed losses that's it and if you want this board i'll attach a, a link on the pinned comment on the comment section whereby you can access this board i always um, i create your trading account via the link on the pinned comment also on the link on the uh, description box subscribe to my youtube channel for more informative content about creating your derive bots comment the next bot that you want to see and i will do a video regarding how to create that bot